So we'll solve 2x equals 3x plus 1. That's an innocent enough looking equation until we go, oh my gosh, there's like an x on both sides. What am I going to do? So there's a number of things you can do. And I'm actually going to solve this two different ways just to show you. But um, the, but the, the, the rule of thumb is, well, wouldn't it be nice if we had like all the x's on one side and all the numbers on the other? And then we could figure out like x actually equals something. So... So the, there's a one here by itself. And so what I encourage you all to do is try to figure out a way that you guys can all leave the one all by itself over here, right? Minus 3x. Right, right. Because if I leave that one all by itself, I need to get rid of this darn thing that's, ruined, that's complicating my life right now, which is that 3x. If I get rid of him, now the one's all by itself. And so to get rid of a 3x, I'd want to subtract. 3x, right? As you said there, you're dead right. And now we have on the right, the 3x minus 3x makes 0. It's like 0 plus 1 or just 1. So that has, that's why I did that because I wanted to leave the number on its own because I want my answer to look like this, x equals something. So I need the x is on one side, numbers on the other. Now we have 2x minus 3x. That's like two good guys and three bad guys. That's negative 1x. And by the way, we're still not done because we want our answer to look like this. x equals something, not negative x. Or Divide negative. by 1, negative right. 1. Right. So let's all put the 1 coefficient there if you guys haven't got it, just for fun. And we have negative 1 times x equals 1. So we can divide both sides by negative 1 to get positive x equals negative 1. Because this, by the way, is a positive over a negative, which makes negative. I don't know if a 1 makes 1. So negative 1. And I'm going to check that real quick because, and if you guys are taking a test, I would like you guys to try to check your answers. It would be great. Because watch this. 2 times negative 1, negative 2. 3 times negative 1, negative 3 plus 1. So we have negative 2 equals negative 3 plus 1, negative 2. And that worked out, all right? And just for fun, I'm going to do uh, this. And I bet some of you guys watching from home tried this question and you did this. You subtracted 2x. That's actually fine. But the problem is most students do something like they go, they forget what to do with the equals. Like the equals doesn't go away. And my question for anyone that's looking or anyone that tried, like 2x minus 2x is what? Zero. Zero, yeah. And zero equals 3x minus 2x, 1x plus 1. And so don't be afraid to write a zero in if that happens to you. That's okay. And you want to get x on its own now. And so how would you get x on its own here? Divide it by 1. You could divide by 1. or but Let's get rid of this guy. How about get rid of this guy here? Negative 1. Right. So subtract that guy. Subtract 1 from both sides. Now we have negative 1 equals, and that makes 0, positive x. So it ends up being the same thing either way. So, there, so the, the lesson is, is, it's not about how do you do it. It's about, did you make a mistake? Did you follow the rules? Like, if you're dealing with an equation, as long as you're adding and subtracting the same thing, thing to both sides, you're good to go. Uh, all these common errors. 62, 4x equals 3x plus 5. You know what? Oh, 